There are many types of extinguishing agents. Successful RF operations require selecting the best agent for the job. Each agent has advantages and limitations, equipment requirements, and unique application techniques. Agents include foam, water, dry chemicals, dry powders, and approved halogenated agents, such as Halon 1211 or Halotron 1. Foam acts as a floating barrier, suppressing vapor release and preventing air from contacting vapors. As foam is applied to fire, it breaks down and its water content vaporizes. Therefore, foam must be applied to a burning surface in sufficient volume at an adequate rate and reapplied as necessary. Water is an excellent cooling agent to protect and cool the fuselage. Water uses a high-velocity, high-pressure pushing application technique. It can be used to relocate and sweep burning fuel away from exposures. Water can also be used to furnish personnel protection from high heat situations. However, using water streams over an established foam blanket will reduce the integrity of the seal created by the foam blanket. Dry chemicals are abrasive and corrosive and leave a residue. At least one R vehicle required by the index must carry sodium-based dry chemical, potassium-based dry chemical, or an approved halogenated agent such as Halon 1211 or Halotron 1. Dry powders are used exclusively on combustible metals. Dry powders have a yellow star on the extinguisher label. Med LX powder is the most common dry powder. It is non-toxic, non-abrasive, and non-conductive. Heat from the fire causes the powder to form an air excluding a crust. It does not cling well to vertical surfaces. Most dry powders are useful on small fires because they withdraw oxygen and lower the temperature of the burning metal below its ignition temperature. Approved halogenated agents such as Halon 1211 or Halotron 1 are colorless, odorless, and non-conductive. They completely evaporate and leave no residue. Halogenated agents will produce acid gases when discharged onto a fire. To avoid exposure to fire and agent byproducts, full PPE should be worn. Halogenated agents are the first choice for aircraft engine and avionic fires. Note that they lack sufficient cooling and vapor sealing effect. Therefore, reignition is a possibility. Carbon dioxide, or CO2, is colorless, non-flammable, and odorless. It displaces air, smothering the fire. Carbon dioxide can produce unconsciousness and death in high concentrations. Choosing the right extinguishing agent for airport fires requires knowing which airport materials fall into which fire class. Class A fuels are ordinary combustibles that leave ash when they burn. Class A fires on aircraft include burning seats, interior finish, luggage, cargo, tires, and passengers. Interior fires are often caused by post-crash fuel spills. Ordinary combustibles require cooling and quenching to extinguish. Foam is the first choice for fuel spill and interior fires, but water can be used in certain situations. If the vehicle is equipped with a piercing nozzle, approved halogenated agents such as Halon 1211 or Halotron 1 may be discharged into unoccupied aircraft compartments. The greatest fire hazard at airports is aircraft fuel, which is flammable liquid or gas, a Class B material. Foam is the agent of choice for Class B liquids, since it not only extinguishes the fire, but prevents reignition. However, foam is ineffective in fighting pressure-fed gas fires. Dry chemicals and clean agents will extinguish Class B liquid fires, but will not prevent reignition. Dry chemicals and clean agents are the agents of choice against Class B gas and three-dimensional fires. Class C live electrical or avionic equipment can present an electrical shock hazard if the wrong extinguishing agent is used. Water and foam are not recommended on electrical equipment because they can cause as much damage as the fire itself. While dry chemicals are Class C rated, they can be highly damaging to equipment. Carbon dioxide and approved halogenated agents such as Halon 1211 or Halotron 1 are the recommended agents for Class C fires. If power to the equipment can be cut, the Class C fire will likely shift to a Class A fire. Class D combustible metals burn at much higher temperatures than Class A or B materials and can be difficult to extinguish. A Class D fire requires a Class D rated dry powder agent except in very specific applications. 
No other extinguishing agents work on metal fires. Most Class D fires require copious amounts of agent or complete covering of the burning metal. Major R vehicles are designated by the quantity of water they carry from 1,000 to 4,500 gallons. Combined agent vehicles simultaneously apply two different agents. One is usually a pre-mixed solution of AFFF. The other is a dry chemical or clean agent. The Federal Aviation Regulations require a complementary agent system on RF apparatus. This is typically dry powder or approved halogenated agents. RF apparatus mounted secondary agent systems range in size from 100 to 1500 pounds. The norm on most major RF vehicles is a 500 pound agent tank. Almost every RF vehicle will have some type of dry chemical extinguisher. Responding ARF apparatus may carry insufficient agent to completely control a large aircraft fire. In continuous mass application, most ARF team apparatus will exhaust their agent capacity in approximately two minutes. ARF vehicles can be resupplied on scene by tanker truck, ground hydrant, or even water handline. Successful response requires not only selecting the right agent, but knowing its proper application. Foam is the most common agent, and it has three recommended application methods. First is the deflection or bank down method, in which the foam stream is deflected off the elevated object near a burning or unignited pool of liquid. The roll-on method directs the foam stream on the ground near the front edge of a burning liquid pool. The foam then rolls across the surface of the fuel. It may be necessary to move the stream to different positions along the edge of a liquid spill to cover the entire pool. Continue to apply foam until it spreads across the entire surface of the fuel and the fire is extinguished. Use the roll-on method only on pools of liquid fuel, ignited or unignited, on the ground or pavement. In the base of the fire method, firefighters supply AFFF at a zero degree base of the fire angle to maximize agent effectiveness and minimize extinguishment time. Applying foam in a sweeping motion from a bumper turret or hand line is an effective use of base of the fire method. If possible, approach and begin foam application from upwind and uphill. The least desirable location is directly downwind. When applying foam on fuel, never aim or plunge the foam stream directly into the fuel spill. That will stir up fuel vapors and greatly reduce the foam's effectiveness. The fire must be completely extinguished before foam application can stop. Apply dry chemicals by directing agent at the base of the fire and sweeping the nozzle back and forth. Charge and test the system by discharging the agent before approaching the fire from upwind. Check range by discharging small bursts at the fire. Start the initial application from as far away as possible. Hand lines from large wheeled extinguishers and truck mounted systems have significant nozzle pressure. Brace yourself and have someone back you up. Directing agent into burning fuel at close range agitates and intensifies fire intensity. Sweep your discharge pattern from side to side beyond the outer edges. Drift a cloud of dry chemical through the entire area in flames. Do not stop application until fire is extinguished. When applying approved halogenated agents, such as Halon 1211 or Halotron 1, follow the same initial guidelines as with dry powder, including testing extinguisher and approaching upwind. Apply agent in front of the leading edge of the fire and sweep the stream from side to side beyond the outer edges of the fire. The rate of sweeping should be slightly faster than a dry powder application. Continue sweeping while pushing the fire back and do not stop application until the fire is completely extinguished.